The political spillover of the Israel-Hamas war has reached the United Kingdom. This comes as Labour Party leader Kiesta Mayer looks to dampen the flames of a major party rebellion after he failed to mention the conflict in Gaza at the Prime Minister's questions. The Labour leader sparked fury among left-wing and Muslim members of his party over the refusal to call for a ceasefire. Samuel used all his six questions at PMQ to target Prime Minister Rishi Sunak on domestic issues, including last week's by-election defeats. Prime Minister Sunak used the PMQs to back specific parts of the Israel-Hamas conflict. However, he rejected calls for a wider stop to hostilities. Senior party figures, including some front benchers, want their party leader to call for an immediate end to hostilities so that vital humanitarian aid can reach civilians in Gaza. More than 150 Muslim uh, Labour councillors have also signed a letter calling on the party to back a ceasefire. According to reports, Tame also met with a dozen Muslim MPs at lunchtime to hear out their concerns. This came amid reports that two members of the shadow cabinet could resign over the row. Criticism of the party leader is also focused on an LBC interview where Tame seemed to suggest that Israel has the right to cut off power and water on Gaza. 37 Labour MPs have backed the call for a ceasefire in the region. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.